Is it aimed at you? Yeah. Okay, I can't, I didn't. Hey everybody, it's Camo Dave here and I'm in downtown Athens, Georgia with... Andy Ballard. Andy Ballard. Andy's uh, taking me out to lunch here. That's right, buy Dave lunch. Oh yeah. Very nice place. What's it called? The Grill. The Grill. The Grill. It's kind of an old-fashioned diner open 24 hours. I had a burger. He had a stack of pancakes. So had a really nice time here. Thank you very much, Andy. Sure. Tell me a little bit about your channel. Now, you got a channel with about 500 subs, right? Oh, it's a little... I just uh, pillow around. It's not monetized. I just talk about my lawnmowers. I talk about camping. And I talk about you know, my kids and stuff. It's just fun stuff around the house. Mostly. Okay, you went to University of Georgia right here, right? I did, I got my master's degree. Okay, there. and there's a school right over there. We're right there right at the there. entrance, yes. Yeah, so there's the arch. There's there. the big arch there, the infamous arch, yeah. right. And uh, so yeah, kind of a rainy day here, but it's kind of warm. So you live in South Georgia somewhere, right? Yeah, I live in Moultrie. Moultrie. And, uh, I work in Tifton. I'm a band teacher down there. A band teacher? What, at a high school? Uh, mostly middle school. Middle and, school. Uh, and, and I got a high school kid up here that made all State band and so we're up oh okay hanging out with him and his all-state band this weekend what's going on they have a contest or something or oh they've already passed an audition long ago and this is uh, they have several bands these are the best musicians the best band musicians in middle and high school in Georgia Wow Wow get to spend the weekend and, and, and perform a new, a new concert uh, Saturday night oh okay for it right now so your channel you've got you just kind of do a little fun channel right you just stuff about you know, what, what other stuff? You said you were big into eBay. Do you do anything on eBay on your channel? I'm going to do a video on my eBay. I, I like to do yard sales on Saturday mornings and go to thrift shops and find stuff that I buy for a dollar and sell it for 10 or Yeah, right. Or, or more. Yeah, yeah occasionally. I've got, some, I've got some good stories I could put on there. It's, it's a lot of fun. And I sold something while we were eating breakfast this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, I sold I sold something I bought about Oh, yeah, right. You got a little a PayPal <laughs> thing on your phone. Yeah, right, you right. Go home and mail it. Very good. Home. Yeah. Now you're also, he's also a big YouTube fan, so I guess he watches me. That's why he called and said, hey, I'll take you out to lunch. But what other YouTubers do you like? Oh, uh, I, I watched Nomadic Fanatic for years. Big fan of his, Caravan Carolyn, and uh, Adam the Woo. And most, a lot of the ones that you talk about are, are happen to be my favorite, and that's why I kind of got latched on your channel. And I just, I said it before, I just mostly listen to you on the way home from work, because I had about a 35 mile commute. And it just fits just perfectly oh, in my commute home. Just That's right. Yeah, I, yeah. People say I'd make a pretty good radio show. You don't need to watch it, right? Yeah. You you just, have, you have just listen to it, right? The Definitely. gift of gab. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it is amazing. We were talking about YouTubers, and we like the same ones. It's kind of amazing. Yeah, yeah. we have a lot in common. We've been watching for about the same amount of time too, so it's pretty cool. Very cool. Good very cool. All right, Andy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a good one and uh, go. Uh, what your channel is just your name, right? Oh, Andy Ballard, and I guess we can put a link on there. I'll put. A, I will put a link down below. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, thank, thank you. you. Okay, we're going to check the Lux Tree Record Shop here. That's uh, where Michael Stipe. What did he? REM met what? Peter, Peter Buck. Buck. Peter Buck worked here. He worked here. Okay. Hang out with Peter Buck, and I guess this is where they got the idea to put the band. Holy cow. Very cool. I'm just going to be quiet and show you what it looks like. Brian, Brian, you know. I have the R.E.M. sent up somewhere. Oh, yeah. I would love to get an old... There we go. The B-52s. Here we go. And their best album, the Wild Planet. Oh, What's this one, Rock Lobster? Yeah, that's just there's their first album. But give me back like, my man, Private Idaho, like Private Idaho, Devil in My Car, all the songs on the 53 miles west of Venus, they're all great. I can see you listening to that. <laughs> Fred Schneider, wow, I didn't know he had any solo albums out. Oh, he did, he did have that one about. Uh, there's a monster in my pants, but I don't think that's on this one. I remember that. I remember, there's a monster yeah. in my pants, and it does a little dance. <laughs> See, now I can't use this video on YouTube, right? Because uh, it'll gotcha. it'll get that song. Gotcha. Well, maybe I can put it on my Dave channel, and uh, they won't monetize it. Okay, there's Athens City Hall, and we're going to the what is it called? The Double Barrel Cannon. It didn't quite work out. It didn't quite work out. Yeah, the local militia, the local militia that didn't go to war because of age or disability, 
stayed in Athens and built this double barrel cannon in fears of a northern invasion. Okay. And so two two cannonballs attached by a chain were fired from the cannon. When they tested though, they realized they couldn't fire the cannonballs at exactly the same time. Wow. And broke the chain and they went haywire. Wow. And uh, I think one- Oh, here we killed, are, right here. One of them killed a cow. Oh the, my. The other one hit like a cabin chimney. But there is the double barrel cannon. The double barrel cannon. It killed a cow. Poor cow. I read that somewhere. Well, maybe right here. Which would mow down the enemy with a, a chain in the middle. But I don't think Athens would ever, ever invaded. It was kind of on the pathway of Sherman headed out towards towards the sea, but they fought them off at a river and they kind of bypassed it. I believe that was the <laughs> so they didn't they didn't take Athens. Right. No mention of the cow in here. No. That's really cool. Very cool. Very nice. All right. Wow. 